Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Universal Studios Orlando for the very first time in 2023 and we are going to be doing a private VIP tour. I'm so excited to bring you guys along. We're doing both parks. We're going to be able to go backstage and do some exclusive things that you can only do on a VIP tour and I figured I'd make a little video going over the cost and explaining how it works. So anywho's, let's go do this. It's really fun being at the park before all the crowds arrive and now we're going to make our way over to the VIP check-in area and get a little breakfast. The tour itself is just around 8 hours and it starts at 9 a.m. and included in that you get breakfast which is served at 8.30 and then you get lunch later on and it's just about $300 a person depending on the season and this is for the private VIP tour. There is also another VIP tour where you can join up with another group and I'm very excited. We're going to have a tour guide that's going to take us around, talk about the history of the park, show us the backstage areas, we can ride all the rides we want with having without having to wait in line and uh, it's gonna be fun the park hasn't officially opened yet but we're actually heading on in and making our way to our breakfast we're all checked in and got our VIP lanyards on look at this very fancy it's cool being able to get in the park a little bit early I just did a Walt Disney World VIP tour a couple of months ago and now I'm going to be able to do a full Universal Studios VIP tour and I thought it would be fun to compare both of them. You know what I mean? Like see what the prices are and already I can tell you Universal Studios is cheaper because it was roughly around $10,000 for 10 people at Walt Disney World. Here at Universal Studios like I said it's $300 if you are a pass holder or a ticket holder. Now if you do not have a ticket into the park you need to buy a ticket first and then pay the $300 which is still cheaper than the uh, 10,000 for 10 people because that's just roughly around a thousand and at Universal Studios it's I would say maybe 500 550 so that's already a win for Universal Another thing that's really awesome is the breakfast that I was talking about. We're here at La Bamba and we're going to get to have breakfast before we start off on our tour and then we're going to get lunch later on and that's included in the price of the VIP tour and that's something Disney doesn't offer and I'm excited for a little breakfast and then we're going to head out and ride some rides and I love coming in here. Look at it. It's so cool and very nicely themed. Very elegant. Another really awesome perk is the unlimited Universal Studios Express Pass. Once we meet up with our tour guide, they're going to take us to any of the rides that we want to ride and we're just going to skip the line. But once the tour ends, we can still ride as many rides as we want without having to wait with our uh, little Express Pass that you get included with your tour. And just right outside, Patrick and Squidward are just hanging out here. How you doing? Having a great day? Top of the morning to you. Very excited to see you. You guys look awesome. Yeah. Oh, you stop. You stop. You look awesome. You match my energy. I like that. I like that a lot. And then also, I'm wondering if we can ride the Pterodon Flyers. You know, the ride where you need to be able to have a child with you? Like, I wonder if that's included. Like, if that's possible, I would love to do that. So we're going to be asking questions and seeing what we can. And I'm going to show you as much as I can. But I know we can't film in the backstage areas. But whenever they say it's okay, I'm putting it in there. I want to give you guys a look at the breakfast that's included in your VIP tour and we get some pancakes, some bacon, scrambled eggs, some potato barrels, I'm not too sure what that is, looks like a nice little biscuit sandwich here, oh you make some omelets there, fancy, got an omelet stage, you got some fruit, blueberry, some overnight oats, all the good stuff, we've got uh, some muffins, some croissants, so far from what I can tell the breakfast is kind of just like quick service breakfast like buffet style but the overnight cold pressed oatmeal is so good I am obsessed with it and I'm probably gonna eat more than I should and we're about to ride a bunch of rides and oatmeal and rides do not mix <laughs> 
We are all finished up with breakfast and the rest of our group is all here. First, we got Maria with LBV TV and she kind of orchestrated this all, so I'm very yeah. excited. I'm excited. This is going to be so awesome. I can't wait to see all the behind the scenes. And literally, I feel like we already got our money's worth with the breakfast and then yeah. the lunch at Mythos coming up. Oh yeah. And we got water to go, Kristen, right down Main Street. And then we got Promise. Happy Promise, Happy Hope. Storm. It's crazy. <laughs> I know. We got Sean. And then we got Travis and producer Ashlyn. It's gonna be a fun day. Oh my god. Why are we at a bar though? Um, it's 10 a.m. Because it's 10 a.m. and we're on the <laughs> VIP tour. I don't know. Now that our group is all together, we're going to meet up with our VIP tour guide and we're going to head out in the park and ride some rides. Also, we had to pre pick our lunch reservation and I'm shocked at the places that are included in it. Like, we could have went to Mythos, Confisco's, Lombard's here. Of course, we, we chose Mythos and that's included in the price. We're going to have lunch at Mythos. It was also voted the best theme park restaurant of 2022 and that is so cool so I'm excited to show you that and I'm not too sure where we're gonna start maybe over on Islands of Adventure cheers to our VIP tour cheers, cheers to Michael cheers. Michael yep <laughs> we have met up with our VIP tour guide Michael and we're gonna start making our way over to Islands of Adventure and I think we're gonna go directly to Hagrid's that's a way to start the day oh look at that's a fun ride. Maybe that later on, too. I haven't done that. Oh, really? I think today's the day. Oh, today is the day. The reason why I came to Halloween Horror Nights was to ride Riptide Rocket. <laughs> Another really awesome perk is, like I said, we wanted to start over in Islands of Adventure, and we're in Universal now. We don't have to leave the park. We can actually cut through behind the sound stages, like go right back and forth in a jiffy. Like, it's literally a one-minute walk, and that's what we're going to do. We're actually going to walk alongside Rip Ride Hollywood Rocket and then go by stage 21. You need to pick All right, Michael's gonna take us through. That is Michael, also our VIP tour guide, team members only. It was cool. We just walked through some of the sound stages and learned a little bit about its history, and now we're in Islands of Adventure. That is so fast and efficient. Look at that, and we made it. We're in Circus McGurkis, Seuss Landing. I just asked Michael, our tour guide, and he said that even though we are on a VIP tour, we still can't do the Pterodon Flyers. So to this day, the only time I've ever been able to do it is while I was attending the Orlando Informer meetup. One of these days, I'm gonna be able to ride them during the day. But, I mean, there's still a lot of other cool things that we're gonna get to do. He mentioned something about a Marvel superhero island uh, uh, photo opportunity where we get to meet all of the different superheroes at one time and that's something special for just VIP tours so I'm excited to see that this is where we're gonna be coming later on for lunch Mythos is such a beautiful restaurant and so many people in our group have not eaten here before so I'm excited I think everyone have you in here Ashlyn oh wow so I I, I'm the only person that's ever eaten at Mythos everyone else has never I've eaten never here before eaten. So I'm very excited. Oh, Travis, you have? Yeah, okay. that's why I suggested it. It's going to be good. I, you know, can't go wrong with the best theme park restaurant in the world. Another awesome thing about having your own private tour guide is you don't need to get lockers for any of the rides because they will actually hold on to everything that you have and that saves so much time because everyone knows when you come to Universal Studios Orlando, one of the like most time consuming thing is dropping off your bags and emptying out your pockets. So a lot of people don't bring anything in the park, but you can bring whatever you want and they'll just gladly hold on to it for you. And now we have made it over to Hogsmeade. Please respect the spell limits. Looks like the uh, wait time for Hagrid's is 105 minutes at the moment, but we're gonna be able to just kinda walk right on in with Michael. Look at these guys. Why did this 
just remind me of an intro to a sitcom. <laughs> because it's such a time constraint on these VIP tours, you're gonna wanna go, 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 but most importantly, have fun. You know what I mean? I know you're paying you know, a lot of money and you gotta make sure you enjoy it. Don't rush around and burn out. Just know exactly where you wanna go. Have a plan, tell your tour guide what you wanna do and he'll make it happen. So it's, uh, it's really fun to make sure you just you have fun. Because there's no express for Hagrid's, we actually walk up the exit and we actually go right to the ride itself and it's so much faster this way. I'm very excited, I'll show you guys. But once we get in there, I'll have to put the camera away. Walking right up the exit here and there it is. Look at that. Oh my god! Now, of course, we cannot film on the ride, but I am going to provide you guys with some stock footage so you guys can see what it's like to ride the ride, a little POV style, and our uh, tour guide's going to hold the camera for me, but it's going to be a lot of fun. This is one of my all-time favorite rides. Look at that, right to the front of the line. Front of the line access. was amazing and we got to ride it back to back a part of the private VIP tour and this is only exclusive for the private VIP tour you can ride any of the rides as many times as you want like I think with the non-private one you can only ride it one time and people could ride it like 10 20 times over and over again but two is enough for us and now it's time to move along now we are making our way in Superhero Island and we're gonna go to the special photo opportunity where we're gonna get to meet all the Marvel superheroes at once. This is only for the private VIP tour, so I'm excited. This is gonna be a good time. This is so cool. We're just hanging out here and instead of hopping in line to meet characters, they're all just gonna to come to us. Yeah. We're all excited. 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 We're all excited
It was so cool seeing all of the superheroes in one setting there and now we're gonna go backstage to the amazing adventures of Spider-Man and go into the show building itself and I cannot wait this is so cool like Normally when you do these VIP tours, like either at Disney or Universal, you get to cut the lines, go a little backstage, but we are going behind the scenes on an attraction and that is, that's awesome. Getting to do things I've never done before is the funnest thing. Look at, I've never been back here. Are we going in this like really cool door? Once we hit this wall right here, we can't come anymore, unfortunately. All right. Keep the secrets to, our Keep the secrets to ourselves. Ha 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 ha
That literally just shook me up for the day. I love it. It gets you going. Now that's a better throw ride. Like it's it's intense, but the theming is in Hagrid's, and I love it. And we can ride it again and again. But we have an appointment with the Raptor. We have to go see our Raptor. We're going to the Raptor experience. It's time to come face to face with the Raptor. This is so much fun. When it comes to meeting characters or having meet and greets in the park, I always say the Grinch is my number one and at number two is the Raptor encounter here. It is such a unique experience and it's, it's, it's true, you have to do it. It's kind of frightening, but it's amazing. All right. And then we're gonna take you into Mortal Danger. Nice. Yeah, oh Mortal my Danger Lord. is a black and yellow line. Folks, you're gonna be taking a photo with blue. <laughs> yeah, so we need you on the black and yellow line. Oh, oh. And we gotta be careful because eye contact's like picking a fight. Blue is like picking a fight. So yeah, it's an pick. act of confrontation. Just tell her you're sorry and you didn't mean it. Sorry, Blue. No, get, get, get out of there, folks. Get, 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 get out of there. Move it. Move it. There you go. All right, thanks, gang. Thanks, Blue. Hello. Love you. Hi, boys. Hey, boys, do you see the blue? The raptor encounter is so much fun, but as you can tell, it can be a little intimidating and especially frightening for children. Even though Blue is like a sweetheart, kind of, it still can be scary and I love it. Like it's, it's definitely, like I said, it goes to Grinch and then it goes that and that's in any theme park. Any theme park, I feel like. And now I think we're gonna make our way back over to Seuss Landing, ride some more rides and then we're gonna have lunch at Mythos. We've made our way over to the high in the sky Seuss Trolley Train Ride. Now this is a ride everyone gets to ride and uh, I'm kind of excited. Look at this. Here it comes. Our Seuss Trolley Train has arrived. And I love that we're going on the inside one. Bye! We know how it sounds to go really fast with a swish, swoosh, complast. Now don't you be last, make the sound of fast. Swish, swoosh, complast. Oh, the mighty trolley train makes a loud hullabaloo. You gotta love the Seuss trolley train. And now it's uh, just about time for lunch. It's uh, time for some mythos, the best theme park restaurant in the world. This is really cool that this is included in the VIP tour. Awarded world's best theme park restaurant by Theme, theme Park Insider. And you, we're gonna get an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert. It's such a great, it's such a great themed restaurant. All right, here we go. This restaurant is really awesomely themed. And it's also cool we don't have to wait for our table. We just walk right in. Welcome. Welcome. Oh yeah. Wow, look at it in here. I honestly really do love this restaurant and one of the main things I love about it is the price point because the most expensive entree is like $37 and that's like um, uh, a lamb dish but they have everything from steak for only $29 they have fillets like uh, fillet medallions sandwiches that's even cheaper oh, yeah. $17 $17 it's honestly the price of a quick service but with a signature dining flair to it a part of the VIP tour is you get one non-alcoholic beverage, one appetizer. Uh, well, you get uh, one appetizer to split per two people, so we're gonna have four appetizers, one entree, and one dessert. And I decided on getting a coffee. Well, I got myself a little espresso because I need a pick-me-up. And look, they gave me a little rock candy to stir along with. And then also, the boys got the old fashions. Hey, cheers! Look at it, sipping ahead of time. I see you now. Yep. <laughs> here is a look at the apps. Here's the grilled octopus here. Look at that. This was so good. I've had this before. Pass the octopus down. <laughs> and then there's the squid right there. That looks good. Let me see. 
Oh, what do they got on the bottom of it, though? Hey, Oli. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Far away from the I wanted to flip the octopus over to show you guys the char on here. Look at that. Isn't it incredible? That is such a well prepped dish. Very good. That's some good char. Huh? Some good char. That's some good char. Right, what do you think? We have to hear your, your thoughts. The tippins or this? This one. Really? I've had it before. I love it. Okay, we already got yep. the answers. <laughs> I love it. Oh, and then, oh, what's this? Lamb and tuna fish? <laughs> that sounds gross. <laughs> Yeah. Spanish, 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 Spanish topia? That is probably the most fancy thing. Break me off a piece of that octopus. <laughs> oh, uh, oh my lord. Wow, that was incredible. Cheers. No, I would expect a green sauce and an octopus. Very tender, right? Actually, this is way better than the one in Tiffin's. It wasn't tender and delicious. <laughs> the octopus is so good and it's got a nice citrus taste to it. I love octopus. I think it's really something cool that I've gotten to discover and enjoy. In fact, I've been really liking a lot of different seafood and I noticed on the menu they have blackened swordfish. So I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get a little blackened swordfish and a little scallops. Dinner has arrived. I haven't gotten mine yet, but here is uh, everyone else's food. Here's Sean's filet medallions. Look at that. That's a good looking piece of meat. I like it. That's a good looking piece of meat. And then over here, Kristen, what'd you get? The risotto? I got the scallops risotto and I added beef. Added the steak to it. Very cool. And what'd you get? I got vegetarian ravioli with steak on top. Yeah, a little steak not? on your veggie wrap. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> and it looks like my meal has just arrived. And like I said, I got the swordfish and the scallops, so a little couscous and some green beans. Oh, yeah. So we've got a nice meal here. Look at this. Look at that blackened swordfish right there. And then here are the scallops. They look seared perfectly on both sides. I'm really pumped to dive into this. All right, let's try these scallops first. Look at that. Look at that. That looks smart. Oh. That looks very cooked perfectly. That's how you scallop. <laughs> That's how you scallop. Is your guy? Yes. And now it's time to dive into the swordfish here. Let's see. I don't think that's happening. Wow. That's impressive. Oh my lord. The swordfish is going to be amazing. Here we go. Look at this swordfish. Nice and blackened. Outstanding. Honestly, this swordfish is phenomenal. Very, very good, very, very good texture. I haven't dived into the couscous, but I am loving the scallops. Everything else, I mean, this is a great meal. How was yours? I think he hated it. Look at that. Holy moly. Everyone's going to town. I think my favorite thing is probably these scallops. So amazing. Look at that banana bread. Is that what that is? Banana bread pudding? I got pumpkin. Banana, banana bread gooey cake. A banana gooey cake, eh? This is literally the best oh thing on the menu. Oh, my Lanta. Oh, it's wow. Fantastic. And it's seasonal. Look at so the that. Next time you come, you have to get it again. So. Seasonal. Seasonal. Look at I got the best. Seasonal bread pudding. This is such a fancy dessert. Look at that. I'm breaking it apart, adding some scoopsies on there. Grab some of those cranberries, some of that bread pudding, you know. This bread pudding is so good. Wow. Mythos was amazing. What did you say? Best theme park restaurant in the world? You know, I'm gonna have to agree with that sign out front above the door. Right? Now we're gonna make our way to the other park because we have 
a quick reservation with the animal actor show, but I'm not too sure if we're gonna make it, so we're gonna cut through Sinbad. Oh, we got to go to Sinbad. <laughs> Let's go to Sinbad now. And just like that, we're in uh, Universal Studios now. We're actually rushing over to Animal Actors because with the VIP tour, we get a really cool experience where we get to get up close with some of the actors or the animals. And uh, that's something I've never done before. So we're trying to make it there. The, the, it's like that actual slow motion music. Look at that. Back. We're almost there. We're walking here. We're walking here. We don't talk like that. <laughs> this is horrible, my poor sweet dog. He's dead. Oh, you're dead. No, you stop it. You're dead. Hold on, I have an idea. Actors is such a fun show and sadly the one in Hollywood just recently closed and I'm sure they're gonna miss it out there so they might have to come over here but now that the show's over everyone's leaving and we're sticking around because we're gonna meet some of the animals we're gonna get to meet some of the animal actors look at us we're the only ones in here we're waiting for the actors we got a private animal actor show oh yeah the pigeons actually just hanging out there Oh my lord. What? What? <laughs> oh my god. Maggie, I just want to touch, but I'm waiting for them to say it's okay. <laughs> wow. We're going to go together. So, go ahead, Maggie. Come on up. Maggie knows I love her. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You've been up here before. Okay. Oh my lord. This is incredible. Look at this. Oh, you are so sweet. The spots on the wall. Look at Maggie's got spots even too. Oh. Look at that hair. Did you see all the hair you had? Oh my Lanza. Oh my goodness. I definitely got her hair in my mouth. Maggie, I love you. I want you to know this. I love you. Yeah, the splash right now. Can, Maggie, can, can you have her do that again? Can you get that up in here? I'm getting out of the front. Maggie, you're the best. Kristen, you fell over. Her spit almost got on me. Oh my god. Hey, you're all over the place. You got focus, girl. Maggie, I love you. Thank you. Somebody get oh, some of that drool for Kristen. <laughs> the best thing about the animal actors and the uh, animals themselves is they actually have trainers. So they don't stay here at Universal Studios. All the animals actually leave and go home with their owner, like with their trainer. And that's so awesome. Like they actually live at home and they come to work at, like, a, like a regular job like with their trainers. And I think I, I'm, I'm in love. Now we're making our way over to the best ride in Universal Studios, E.T. Adventure. I love going on E.T. and I've been missing it. Kind of always want to like duplicate the smell. I know some candle companies try to do it, but nothing's ever as close to the real E.T. smell. The attraction still here at Universal Studios Florida. Opened June 7th, 1990 with the rest of the park. Every other attraction that was here on that day has either been majorly refurbished or replaced. Now I'm reflecting its original experience, all with the exception of the E.T. Adventure. Other oh wait, is he going to say our yeah. name? Say your name for uh, Wait, E.T. is going to say our name? Perfect. Nate, this is for you. Thank you. Look at this tour guide. What a champ. Double doing it today. <laughs> Production crew. 
Oh wow, look at this. That was awesome. Oh, it does smell like Another awesome perk that goes along with the VIP tour is you get all of the special photo opportunities and outside ET now that we just got done riding the ride they have one of the best ET photo spots ever we're gonna jump into the closet we're all going in the closet look at ET this is awesome this whole closet just actually makes me happy makes me feel nostalgic rock'em sock'em up there in the corner look at the T-Rex over here this is and cool. Course, look at that cute face. Oh my goodness. Amazing. We're all standing in a closet now. We're in a closet. We're in the closet. You guys in the closet. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna be the ET photo opportunity was so much fun. Now I think we're gonna move along to Men in Black. I found out that the Ollivanders Wand experience, they used to do a private uh, session with a private VIP tour, but I think they ended that last year. So we're gonna skip out on that and just try to get more accomplished. We've been having a fun day though, and we're kind of taking it like as easy and doing more stuff behind the scenes because that's the best part about these tours is going places and doing things you would never normally be able to do. Fallout Boy. If you've ever uh, heard an interview or read an interview with the band Fallout Boy, where, where they got the name of the band, I will tell you they are huge fans of The Simpsons and that they got their name from the episode with Radioactive Fan. No way! Right? I never knew that. Isn't that cool? Fallout Boy is from The Simpsons. Yeah. Wow. I had no idea. Fallout Boy, um, when the Hulk was retracted and kind of updated, uh, they added onboard audio to there, and Patrick Stump, uh, the lead man for the band Fallout Boy, composed all the area music and on ride music for the Incredible Hulk. Wow, Fallout cool Boy is killing it. Between the Simpsons and the That's awesome. Yeah. Now we have made it over to Men in Black, and I think we're doing the special tour. <laughs> Where would I be without my ladies? I don't know. Hey, who's your lady? Where would you be? Where would I be without you? Maybe not on a VIP tour. We are riding men in black, mate. What are you saying? Where are we going? Baby girl, put it on me. <laughs> Here we are. Holy moly. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Which one's Bob? That's Bob? Hey, Bob. This is so fun being down here. I always looked at it from the top and like I always said I want to go down there and here we are. Could just walk up, see these guys in action. Look at that. Nice little lounge area over here. This looks comfy. Your lights I love this. Look, Kang from The Simpsons is in here. That's really cool. This is awesome. I really love being down here. And they also have like an earth visitation area where you get to sign in for your visitation. And you put your name and the planet you're from. I don't know if you can see it right here. Right here. That's so cool. To keep your eyes toward the sky and not here on Earth, where you might find this. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention? It was fun checking in on Bob and Eok, and now we're gonna keep moving along. We've been getting a lot done today. We rode the rides multiple times at like Hagrid's, we did more than once. Got to do a lot of like, cool meet and greets and behind the scene action, and we're almost finished. Like, we're almost done for the day. 
I think now we're actually making our way over to the mummy and then we're gonna actually see underneath the mummy track which is actually a cool perspective that's something I don't know if we're gonna be allowed to show you but it's something that is included on this tour a lot of these things you can actually do even though we can't film it uh, but all you have to do is ask your tour guide he'll set up everything and just be like hey I heard you could do this and he'll see if he can arrange it Look at this, we're actually heading into the mummy, 57B. And then 57A is back there. Wow, this is cool. I never thought we'd be able to go in this way. This is the best time ever right now. Backstage. Yeah. You're going to see the roller coaster going right above your head, uh, see the actual layout of the track in addition to the uh, fire room and the food. Now, I want wow. to show you that on camera. We'll you can imagine. So they really want to yeah. We just got out of the mummy and I have to say that was my favorite thing about this whole entire VIP tour It was so awesome. They shined the light up at the ceiling and we were able to see the original Confrontation track and I screamed. I was so excited. That is one ride uh, I wanted to ride so bad and I never got to ride and I just regret it I, I wish I was able to get to Florida sooner and ride confrontation, but that was cool We were underneath the track. We saw the mummy just fly by our head I loved it. Seriously, best thing ever. It's gonna be incredibly hard to top that mummy experience, but we're making our way to the Born Spunktacular. Born Stuntacular. <laughs> I wanna say Spunktacular. And with that, we are done here today and I have to say this tour is a hundred percent hands down better than Disney's VIP tour. In fact, I cannot wait to do another VIP tour again. Michael, our tour guide, was so knowledgeable and so fun. He was great, he interacted with us, he rode rides with us. I feel like we just made a new friend and it's def definitely worth more. Like between getting lunch and uh, breakfast included, you get to see more behind the scenes, go in backstage areas. I loved it. Like, like honestly, and like I mentioned before, the price is so much more affordable. Disney is anywhere from $450 to $850 an hour. So just to say on a high end, it's $850 an hour with a minimum of eight hours for 10 people. You're looking at around $10,000. And here, if you pay the $299 for the VIP tour, that's all you have to pay if you have an annual pass. If you have to buy a day ticket, then it's around $500 an hour. So that's so much more cheaper and you get so much included with it i would definitely do it again i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you guys think would you want to do a tour like this and i'll put the information in the description below so you can check it out so uh we'll see you next time